<laughs> oh, honey, you did a good job. Going back under? Yeah, I still have a little bit to do. Okay. There he goes. We started our boating season with our Sea Ray 410 Sundancer running good. But then mid-season, we realized we had a boat bottom barnacle problem that needed to be handled. You tired, honey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got done spending a couple hours scraping barnacles off of our running gear. What the heck? Why do we have barnacles? We never have barnacles. Well, every couple, every so many years we do. Uh, you know, this is a, we're on the, an estuary of the Chesapeake, right? On the northern Chesapeake. And it's all, the tides come in, come out. So ocean water comes up, rain water comes down. And we got like no rain for the whole month of May. And uh, so the, you know, it's yeah. sal saltier than normal. And the barnacles like salt water. I, get, I bet the guys in Florida get them all the time, right? But we only get them once every maybe 10 years or so. And it was, I, uh, Bob, our friend Bob, you know, he said he went for a cruise and he couldn't get, you know, half his speed, normal speed, and he had it hauled out and scraped down. So I decided to check, and sure enough, our, our props, our rudders were all covered with barnacles everywhere where there wasn't bar uh, right. bottom paint. Well, yeah, I was going to say, we painted the bottom, right? So yeah, there's no, do every year. nothing on the bottom. It's just, just the, the, the props and the, and the rudders and the trim tabs. Just, you know, the, the trim tabs and the rudders weren't bad because I could keep my head above water doing those, but I had to dump myself to get the props and uh, that was a job. You basically have three options. Get hauled out by your marina and pay them to clean the bottom. Hire a diver to come to your boat and clean the bottom in the water. Or scrape off the barnacles in the water yourself. And that's the option we chose. We could reach the trim tabs and props going under the swim platform, just under the water, but not having to go under the boat. And but, luckily, luckily you have long arms to be able yeah, to reach the... A lot of this. <laughs> And I had some good sturdy gloves too. I started out with no gloves and I cut up my fingers. So wear gloves yeah. and yeah. make sure you have some scraper on the boat. I mean, nothing's nothing's perfect for a prop because it's all wavy. Right. But, uh, you know, it did the trick. And, you know, after I got the big boys off, I had those big blue neoprene rubber gloves on the boat for doing like diesel work. Yeah. And uh, those were sturdy enough to like, you know, pick off the little guys and, and then, you know, I got them pretty smooth. So we should be good for our trip next week. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be like a three hour cruise almost. So, but I mean, if I, if, if my arms weren't long enough, I would have called the Marine and got us to the short haul us and, and, uh, you know, scrape it down, power wash, whatever. Uh, right. And a lot of people end up doing that in in yeah. the middle of the season. We've never had to do that. Yeah, up here you don't get these kind of problems much, you know. But I'm sure down in Florida, you know, salt water down in Jersey, whatever, it's a lot worse. You guys probably have divers and uh, you know ser services to get shore hauled and all that stuff. Yeah, it only happens to us once in a while. I bet you every boat around here has the same problem. It's like one at a time somebody's going to realize, hey, what's wrong with my boat? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and half the guys aren't going to know because it doesn't happen all that often. The barnacles got me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get on plane, honey. <laughs> can't get those barnacles off. <laughs> all right, Captain, another job well done. What do you say? Where's my drink, honey? <laughs> Here you go, honey. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'm going to have a drink with you, too, because it's hard work watching Watching you do all the work is really hard work, so I'm gonna have to too. <laughs> and he's always working on something on our boat. Check out this video on how he troubleshoots any problems with our boat AC.